name is Drachi. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Manga, where we discuss architecture and life. Today's discussion is on site analysis. Most people find maybe think it's unnecessary to go to sites when you already feel that oh, in, in Nigeria there's not much difference. So you just you know just go with it, which is not supposed to be so because like in Enugu now. That's, red there's yes. a lot of red clay in Enugu. It's not the same as say the Butemata here that uh, the Butemata in Lagos that is. And it's not the same as Calabar. It's not quite the yes. same, obviously not even, the same. So, yeah, even within Lagos State and um, now around the Equal Local Government access you find a lot of red clay. Yeah. But towards Lekki side you find this water lot, the swamp region. You know, when um, you find a um, big loamy soil or something, um, it's still, yeah, almost like it's still, still yeah. yes, so, so even within Lagos, there's, there's a lot of variation. I'm sure that if you actually try to look at the uh, water conditions of the vegetation type, you find out even mangrove green forest, tropical um, mangrove, there are, there are some slight differences, and those slight like, moves are very, very, very house is not quite the same as yours. You get slightly off your house by a few degrees, do you understand? Mm -hmm. Which affects everything yeah, from yeah. wind direction to sun path, which are points that you should be taking for yeah. site analysis. Okay, so um, topography, topography, vegetation, vegetation. Like vegetation of your area. Now you want to have a small vegetable garden in your house. What kind of vegetables grow well in yeah. your area? And even general landscaping. Yes, as general well. landscaping. Yeah. Because that can even be like urban farming in an urban area you want to plant vegetables you don't have to go to the market every time you don't have to spend money you, you have a small you want to eat a burrito today or you want to eat you know so you just have something you can just go to your farm and talk it off something i do that too i have i have a small <laughs> <laughs> yeah so those things matter like okay for example for example now in my house there is a there's a um, a very, there used to be a very large tree in front of our uh, living room. And then one day my mom asked the, um, someone to come and trim the tree. And she went out and she came back and they like completely cut down the tree. So now, I'm like, how can you cut down a, a tree that that helps to absorb carbon dioxide, um, everything? That's like, it basically, like a tree, the tree is there for a reason. Now in my living room, you can't, you can't sit down there in the afternoon because it's very hot. Very hot. You can't. You, if you want, to, even receiving this because it's very uncomfortable because you'll be hot and sweaty in the afternoon. And that's now added cost for you because you start thinking about fans. Like, well, fans are even better. Yeah. Air conditioning. Air conditioning. Uh, but ordinarily, you wouldn't need it because I, I like, I actually noticed it. Usually, it's not because I'm on a thing, but even everybody in my house noticed it. So it's not because I said the architecture I noticed it's different. Exactly. Everybody in my house is like, ah, why is this room unnecessarily hot? And I'm like, oh. Sometimes you sometimes have some of these true. very odd because really let's be very 
Let's be very Yeah, like my primary school was opposite the factory. The battery factory. Now you can imagine. Like I don't even I don't even want to start talking about all the things that could possibly go wrong in that scenario. So as architect, we should demand psychoanalysis. Yeah. We we should make sure we do, we do it. Even if the clients don't ask for it, sometimes the client don't even need to know you did a psychoanalysis. You do it for your own volition as a good architect. True. And really it's to your advantage, it's to the client's advantage. He has a beautiful home that works well for him, that doesn't take up money like some black hole. And he can recommend that house to other people. Because he he's you he's happy, yes, yes. And if, the, and if the building should collapse to oh, so so your your name. <laughs> so, the same way yeah. this architect that his building was melting um, yeah, that glass house, the one with the curved yes. shots, that's a totally different lawsuit. <laughs> you know, like the, lawsuits, the people that are roasted on like, thank you for the because the cars, the amount of money, you know, so that's, many that was the law of another yes. episode. <laughs> exactly. That's something else that, that is a that is a whole but I, the takeaway is your name attached to this thing. Make it the best thing. Like, you should design like a design for yourself. For yourself yes. yeah. I think that's the thing. That's design the like a design for yourself and then you you do a good design. Mm -hmm. You should do it even as even in school as a student. You should make yourself stand out as the student that does a completely detailed site analysis. Yeah. Because, because all these things affect the design and hopefully when you do that over and over again in different studio projects mm -hmm. it will stick with you in practice because unfortunately like for me it's something that especially in my first year of work I didn't really pay attention to because a lot of clients just oh just build a house and I really regret it yeah so when I had an opportunity to work on like smaller scale buildings it's like a single family um, residential units I, I was fortunate enough to meet clients that were really interested I mean in that sort of thing and it, it helped me understand that this is not something it's not how we say in Nigeria, um, we go like a totally foreign concept. It's something that can work here yeah. very easily. So I, I try as much as possible to talk to other clients and tell them that this is what I've done and this is how well the person feels about it and these are the advantages that the person gets from it. So why don't you try this? I mean, it's your money, you yes. might as well get the best option. Best out of it. Yeah, then there's also the issue of research. I think people should. Uh, well, site analysis. Yeah. And still, it, because site analysis is research actually. So yeah, true. Researching your site. And if you so really want to do a, like, if you get a very big project and you have to do like a, um, have to do environmental impact, impact assessment, assessment. Yes. that's site yes. analysis. Yes. Environmental impact on a larger scale. scale. Yeah, on mm -hmm. a very large scale. Yeah. So, you, like, so many, so many things. And you know, there's, there's so many factors like yes. noise, pollution, there's traffic moving around the site, there's location, water table. Random things. There's so soil many types, yeah. topography, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, vegetation. Yes, we me we me I think we mentioned it initially, but yeah, it's still to reiterate the point that because, yeah, should don't forget very, that. Should it, forget should, it should be very, very important. Very important to have that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so yeah, we end our video for today. I hope that you really gain a lot. The notes section as usual will have references that you can study from. So all of us e.manka and don't yes. forget to subscribe. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.